I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. The purpose is to test your instincts by identifying the strength of a hand and picking two potential ways to go. We'll use the same tiles in two iterations and compare results. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do two iterations. We'll look at the strength of the hand and identify a plan A. Then we'll identify a plan B. Using the same tiles, we'll go through the Charleston and compare results. We have a joker flower, then we have two four in cracks with a pair of twos. We have one three in bands with a pung of ones. In dots we have five seven nine with a pung of sevens. One two seven are the multiples. This is a crazy start. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on for plan A? And what would you focus on for plan B? If these were my tiles, I would focus on a category that uses most of the multiples with supporting tiles. And I think that would be one, two, three, four in mixed suits. So I would pass those. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe play odds in mixed suits but the five is the wrong suit here. We could do one, three, five, crack, seven, nine. This would be the wrong five. Here, we actually have one, two, maybe a year hand. I think I would do one, two, potential year hand or consecutive run. I think there's more flexibility there. So let's focus on Consecutive run or year hand for plan A, and then big odds for plan B, and build around maybe the sevens. Or maybe we could keep one three and see if we get a five crack for that one specific hand. I'm going to take a photo, and we'll track the tiles in the Charleston so we can recreate this. Okay. So we're going to keep one through four. Now this is a really risky pass. I think I would let this four go. Pass those. Focus on one, two, three, or maybe a year hand. Okay, we got an east, west, six. Take a photo there. I don't think that's going to be helpful. We did pick up some consecutive run there. One, two. Let's stick with it. We'll compare results. Let's break up the seven. Maybe five, seven west. We'll take a photo. We did get a pair in there of threes. Oh, hey, that worked out really well. One, two, three consecutive run. Let's pass. East three, seven. We'll take a photo. We got a flower and we have tiles we can pass. I think seven, nine for odds. Or 6-9 might be better. Let's do 
A little risky either way. We'll take a photo of that. I think I would go ahead and pass these together. That's not too bad. We'll take a photo of that. We got a white dragon for a potential year hand of some kind, but I don't think so. We have a multiple here with that three, and I don't think we really can use a Kong or flowers. Really, this hand is pretty solid. We're on last right. I do not like passing flowers and I don't like passing white dragons. Because we're so close, we have no gaps and we could Kong two blocks with that Joker. I think I would risk passing a white dragon at least. I don't think I would pass 7-7 seven, seven white. I think that would be very risky, and I would not pass a flower either. I think either passing 7 white or 7-7, seven, seven, but I really don't like passing like numbers. I think that's almost as bad as passing a pair. I think I would go ahead and pass one blind. Let's take a photo. We have three tiles for the optional cross. Woo, flower, that must have been the blind pass. Let's see, is there anything we could do here? We could maybe play a quint. This is really weak though. I don't think I would do that. I think I would stick with this one, two, three. And I probably would discard maybe in this order, east, white, and then the flowers. Flowers are not really good joker bait because if you discard and either this player or this player takes it with a joker, this player's going to get the joker, one of these players, because there are eight flowers, not real good joker bait. The only way it would be ideal is if the player to your left makes the exposure and then you have access to that Kong with a Joker. Look for links in the video description below for more videos on Joker bait. This is probably not good Joker bait, but look at this hand here. We actually have a hand with no gaps. One, two, three, mixed suit Kongs. I think that was a good result. This feels unfortunate. I wished we had more wins because then I might even consider forcing a quint with all these flowers. But we've got two multiples in here. If we played a quint, let's say, we'd have to break up two multiples versus really one, the flower pair there. And we're one away from set on this one. I would focus on this hand right here. Okay, so we're going to reset and focus on big odds. This is how we started. We're gonna focus on big odds. So this 
is far fewer tiles. We have a, con a pung in there and a pair. So that's why I would have focused on those two. Here we have one multiple, but we might be able to play the hand here, one, three, five, crack, seven, nine. So let's hold one, three. And then we can pass one, two, four. That's a little bit risky with a one, two. So we did get a six. We're looking for odds though. So let's pass these three. Whoa, seven crack. That's not really helpful. We did get a three. One, three, five, seven, nine. We have a gap. No one. Flower. I don't like passing flowers. I think I would break up the threes and stick with this. Because at least we could use this for the five crack. Or we could play five, seven, nine, flower. And use this for joker bait. We got a flower. So this is, oh, there's a nine. So this is where I would focus on five, seven, nine. But we, for five, seven, nine with four flowers, we only need a pair of sevens. We're, we, we did right across left. We could stop the Charleston. But I don't stop the Charleston if I'm in between hands like this. I would pick a hand and break up my other hand. Because here we have one, three, five, crack, seven, nine, or five, seven, nine, flower. What we could do is maybe let a seven go and still play both hands in case we get a five crack. If we had a white dragon, we could play flower five, seven, nine, and use that seven. But that's a gap. Either way, we have a gap. This is the only way that we don't have a gap and we only need a pair in here. Five, seven, nine, pair seven. All right, so with that, let's pass the seven. We have a six in there, a seven bam, which is a big odd, but we already have three optional hands in here, or really two now. Five, seven, nine, with four flowers, or one, three, five, seven, nine in mixed suit. Let's go ahead and pass these. There's a flower. Oh, we did get the white dragon. Five, seven, nine flowers. We only need a pair there. I think with all these flowers, I probably would focus on five, seven, nine with four flowers and probably pass those for last right. And there we get the five crack, but here's a flower. This is why you don't really want to pass flowers. So let's pass these three for last or optional cross. No keepers, four discards, and we have a hand with no gaps. I think either plan A, plan B, I think they have equitable results because here we have no flexibility. The plan A, there was flexibility. Here we have one hand, five, seven. Well, no, that's not true. We could do five, seven, nine dragon, but we'd have to discard flowers. I think I would let these go in that order and focus on five, seven, nine with four flowers. You know what I just thought though? We could still play maybe that quint. Five flowers, east and nine. So maybe keep the east for a little while. See what happens. Discard those first. I still think that plan A, plan B, they were equ equitable. Either one would have worked. Since American Mahjong is a flexible game, 
you can make just about anything work with the right decisions at the right time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.